Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Everyone loves me, it's no problems. I conform in so many ways, but this is not one I can do. It just sounds like something from Harry Potter and I love it. <laughs> I bought this top and I was like, oh yeah, it'd be like fashion, I'd be style. And I feel a little bit like Jerry Seinfeld's like pirate top. It's just, it's a real poofy. I could like fly away. <laughs> so we'll push on, we move. <laughs> We will get our money's worth. I bought this in December and haven't even had the chance to wear it. So, hi guys. <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I am Yvette. And I moved to the UK in May, two years ago. Um, time is an illusion. <laughs> so, I'm documenting my experiences and I'm getting delusional in the process. For today, I thought we'd take it back, go traditional and say, I thought I'd go through, I found a Reddit thread of like a topic I is very fond to my heart and that is um, favorite, for non-Brits, what's your favorite British slang or saying or phrase? Um, and I've told you mine um, and I'm always open to know more and I think it's interesting to get everybody else's opinions as well. So um, I'm hoping that this video doesn't get demonetized because I do know a lot of these are swear words because Brits have the best swear words. Um, however, I suspect the algorithm is American and they won't know what a toss pot is. <laughs> so let's crack on and see how long we can stay monetized. So number one, you're all going to tell me these like mean atrocious things, but they're like heaps cutesy words, which is a very British thing in general. Um, but the first one is numpty like an idiot, like, oh, don't be such a numpty. I do love numpty. It reminds me of like a grandma saying it, oh, you're numpty. Or Humpty Dumpty. Does anyone else get that or is it just me? But numpty. In the same vein, we have Muppet. I do enjoy a Muppet. See, Americans would just think Muppet's Christmas Carol. I never liked the actual Muppet, so I could definitely see it as an insult. Someone said, because this is a Reddit thread that I'm getting a lot of these from. When I was a small child, my dad told me my middle name was Numpty. I proudly walked into nursery the next day and announced that I did have a middle name after all. And my mom was so mad at my dad when my teacher told her, which is the most dad thing ever. I might just do it to my kid for lols. I love the word bellend. <laughs> bellend, wanker and bollocks. That's what I'm saying. And I watched a compilation video of like, um, like driver's anger thing, um, but they were British and everyone just yells wanker <laughs> on the road. Like that's the go-to insult and you're like, bloody wanker. Um, accurate, accurate. It's probably the most British insult. I think if you ask like a non-Brit, you know, around the world, what's a British insult? They'll say wanker. <laughs> But it is the same in Australia, to be fair, just so you know, like, I, that's why it doesn't come to mind, because we say the same word. This is an interesting, it's taking me down a path I didn't expect. They said rubbish, which makes sense, oh, rubbish, that's, you're talking rubbish, that's a rubbish. He's rubbish. <laughs> rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Um, and that's like the same thing, like a rubbish bin or, you know, like trash, if you're American. Uh, they don't know what, it, they call it like, a, is it dust bin here? And they say dirt bin? and they don't know what a wheelie bin is. I wonder what they have. Steady on, that's very British. Steady on, mate. I also, this isn't on the list. This is a me one and this is like maybe, you know, I'll build from my previous one is that I have, I say too much that everyone's kicking off. That's my like go-to. Like everyone's kicking off about blah. <laughs> um, or, or I'm kicking off, <laughs> I've been kicking off. <laughs> like if something will annoys me at work, I'll tell Daniel and I'll be like, oh yeah, I've been kicking off about blah 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 like kicking off that's my like go-to everyone's getting mad I'm kicking off um steady on is like all oh, calm down steady on that I would have honestly thought that was Australian steady on mate steady on that's how I hear it in my head not steady on see they say listen here like what <laughs> they're always like Australians have so much slang no British have slang British sort of sh Britain shortens everything um, Asani is a sandwich, obviously northern thing, but like, how dare you come for Australia when you say Sani or pop round. We say pop round as well. There's a lot of things <laughs> I think if I wasn't a natural English speaker, that makes no sense. So like pop round, if you're like being literally like, what do you mean pop? What do you mean pop round? Or like hang up the phone. We don't anymore. We don't hang anything up. Or what was the other one I thought of the other day? Like kicking off. <laughs> no one's kicking anything. <laughs> um there's all sorts of things like that 
these and yeah I always think it must be so hard to learn English because nothing we say makes any sense. They obviously, goes without saying, can't make a video without this where it says um, just if you want to get like a chip sandwich for those who aren't from the UK but the word sandwich or bread will change drastically where you are. It could be a bap, could be, what have we got? Bap, barn, roll, piece, car, cob, muffin, tea cake. Who's calling a bread roll a tea cake? <laughs> Absolutely not. So like you've, you, you never know, like it's always different. So you never know what you're getting. <laughs> There's one I can't say because I know I will get demonetized. Um, F me for the sake of not getting demonetized. Like apparently that's a British thing. There you go. Christ on a bike, that's very good. Uh, knob, like a door handle, get calling that a doorknob. Not anymore, not in England. Oh, using the word proper, that's a good point. Everyone says proper, like, oh, that's a proper drink. That's a proper, oh, I don't even know anymore. God, I'm so bad at coming examples. Um, proper party, like, he was proper good at that. Like, he was proper, <laughs> like, proper. I was saying that to Daniel, that proper is such a British term, like it's so non-sequential, but like so quintessential. Chuffed to bits, pants. Pants is a weird one, yeah. Cause like I still get it wrong, I'll never conform. I conform in so many ways, but this is not one I can do. But like, um, I know underpants and like trousers are pants and I still get it wrong. I think people are forgiving, <laughs> um, but um, saying things are pants, like, that cake is pants, like it's crap. I'm learning I say a lot more British things than I realized. So like one of them is, what are you on about? I'm like, always saying, I've always said that. <laughs> Most of the Daniel, if I like wasn't listening, I'm like, what are you on about? What are you, what are you saying? What are you on about? Didn't realize that was British, there you go. Just not American. They're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> We're like, what? <laughs> I'm just taking out all of the Fs because like, I do actually want this to be monetized. <laughs> Do you know what's interesting? They made a point, I'm not gonna read it out because like, expletives. However, they were like saying that if you're on the internet and you see a British person get ups like upset, it's like beep, 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 like all of these like like creative swear words or like, I've also, I've made a video before about how like Scots can make anything offensive. <laughs> like, they'll just say like, you know, you absolute effing toaster, like as an insult, <laughs> like things like that. And then Americans are just like, hey, you jerk <laughs> like they're so non-offensive because they don't swear that much but I always it's just one of my hobbies is going back and watching like shows from when I was a kid so like Disney Channel shows or like kids films like Lizzie McGuire things like that and you look at the insults and it's so funny to me like um on <laughs> even like even in teen films it's like you put the itch in bitch <laughs> And that one's even like a harsh one. Like they just have like, I can't even know, but Hannah Montana or something could just be like, say like the most non-offensive things and then they act like it's the worst. And it's so funny to me. Bollocks is a bad thing, unless it means dogs bollocks, in which case it's a good thing because dogs are the best. Makes sense if you get dogs, but I understand it's a nuanced, understood and a nuanced take. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? See, I shouldn't, was it this? I just did a video about how I shouldn't do accents. <laughs> You're joking me. Um, are you joking me? Or are you taking the piss? Is like, are you for real? This isn't one I've heard, so I wanna put it in. If my auntie had balls, she'd be my uncle. I have not heard that. It basically means, um, obviously. <laughs> Cheeky and chuffed, classics, can't go wrong with that, Muppet. Do you know a girl at work, this is on the list, calls me chicken and I love it. She's like, hello chicken. She's from Birmingham, fantastic. Done and dusted. Bobby's your uncle, gobsmacked. Chimwag, I have a good chimwag. You slag, slag is so funny. I don't know how anyone can be offended at it. You slag. I watched too much Money Boosh and now I just think of old Greg yelling slag. As you do, I said that, I used to say it all the time. As you do, I feel like you're being weird. As you do, if I wanna be Australian. Last one, I think it's one you've heard me say before, but Codswallop, it just sounds like something from Harry Potter and I love it. <laughs> it's like, how is this real? It's like. I don't know. To be fair, I didn't realize treacle pudding was a thing until I moved here. So I also thought that was a Harry Potter thing. <laughs> so maybe I have no idea. 
So that's all I have for you today. Tell me in the comments below your favourite British phrases, whether you're British or not. I'd love to hear them. Um, they don't have to be swear words. Um, if you do put a swear word, they'll probably get flagged, so know that. But I'd love to, I can go through it later. <laughs> Although I don't like going through my flagged comments because like, I don't like to be offended. Every time I go through my, my flagged comments, it's just like, <laughs> takes like years off my life and then I like don't want to upload so I just don't do it I'm just like ignorance is bliss <laughs> everyone loves me it's no problems um but I'd love to hear your thoughts give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video um and for my consistent return look at me go who'd have thought and remember to hit subscribe so I can see you next time thank you so 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 much for watching um I'll see you next time <laughs>